Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang, but the Big Bang was not the beginning. The universe begins with stars and galaxies as we come to know and love it. And in that gap, we don't really expect anything to be there. And these new objects appear to be in that gap. And so this would completely force, it would force it to completely rethink what's going on back then. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. The James Webb Telescope was designed precisely for this purpose, to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So uh, uh, we shouldn't be surprised that we're surprised. A new understanding of the universe. We delight in this. Throughout the history of science, people have been trying to figure out how the universe began. The most common explanation has been something called the Big Bang Theory. This idea has been supported by many studies and the work of thousands of scientists. They've gathered a lot of evidence that shows how the universe started. But things are different in the world of science today. New technology keeps bringing us new ideas and perspectives. These new ideas challenge what we used to think were unquestionable truths. In this changing world of science, Neil deGrasse Tyson has become an important figure. And now, there's something really exciting happening with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's revealing something that might make us question the Big Bang Theory. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is one of the most advanced space observatories ever built, and it is set to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. One of its primary objectives is to observe the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. These galaxies are thought to have formed just a few hundred million years after the birth of the universe, and they hold valuable clues to the early evolution of our cosmos. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is currently the most advanced space telescope around, with cutting-edge technology and advanced tools to let it see farther into the universe and see in much greater detail than ever before. In particular, among its capabilities is the ability to, technically speaking, see through time. Time and distance have an interesting relationship. This is because visual images and signals need to actually travel in order to be seen. For example, the Sun is on average 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, one might think that all sunlight that reaches Earth does so instantaneously, but that actually isn't true. Light has a set speed it can travel. This is very fast, but it isn't instantaneous. With this speed in mind, we know that it takes light from the Sun a little over eight minutes to reach Earth. That means when we look at the sun, we aren't seeing a live image of what is actually happening on the sun. We're actually seeing what was happening on the sun around eight minutes prior. Now take this idea and expand the scale so it applies across the universe. All stars emit light, which we can see. But the farther away the star is, the older what we're seeing is. If you're looking at a very distant star, you're actually seeing what happened a very long time ago. Now, let's talk about the galaxies in question. The six potential galaxies spotted were estimated by the team to have existed around 500, 700 million years after the Big Bang. What are these galaxies? And what impact will they have on our understanding of the universe? NASA's $10 billion telescope, which was launched in December 2021, has just spotted six gargantuan galaxies, each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. Yes, a group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that are so massive they shouldn't exist. These were first spotted as a series of fuzzy dots that appeared unusually bright and unusually red. The six giant galaxies that contain almost as many stars as the Milky Way, they are so ancient that researchers have said that they shouldn't even exist anymore. A team of astrophysicists found the mysterious objects hiding in images taken from the James Webb Space Telescope, which was published in a study on 22nd of February. They've also revealed that this finding is 
pushing the limits to everything we thought we knew about space. NASA was able to find galaxies nearly as huge as the Milky Way, all full of some very mature red stars, a recent study has found. The images were obtained by the James Webb Space Telescope, which showed exactly just how far away these stars were. While only appearing as minuscule dots to the powerful telescope, astronomers have now been able to establish the age of the stars by analyzing the light emitting from the galaxies. The fact that galaxies existed back then isn't the issue. The Milky Way is estimated to be older, after all. And scientists in 2022 found four galaxies that likely formed 350 million years after the Big Bang. But these six galaxies are just enormous, significantly dwarfing these four other galaxies. In particular, these six galaxies are estimated to have around the same amount of stars back then as the Milky Way does now. Considering the Milky Way only amassed such a huge amount of stars after billions of years of mergers and accretion, it is baffling that there were galaxies so enormous, not even one billion years after the Big Bang. These objects are way more massive than anyone expected, said Joel Legia, an assistant professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State. He continued, We expected only to find tiny, young, baby galaxies at this point in time. But we've discovered galaxies as mature as our own in what was previously understood to be the dawn of the universe. Researchers also claimed that the discovery pushes the limits of our understanding of cosmology and these objects are now being informally referred to as universe breakers. They have been living up to their name so far, Leija added. While he revealed that they had no idea what we were going to find, the unexpected has since created issues in the field. The assistant professor also added that this was their first glimpse back this far in time. So researchers were keen to keep an open mind about what they were seeing before them. While the data indicates they are likely galaxies, he said, I think there is a real possibility that a few of these objects turn out to be obscured supermassive black holes. However, the amount of mass we discovered means that the known mass in stars at this period of our universe is up to a hundred times greater than we had previously thought. But maybe it wasn't through mergers or accretion. Maybe they just formed stars naturally. After all, that does happen. The Milky Way does it too, with around a star or two forming each year on average. But this also doesn't make sense. Because if these six galaxies were forming new stars to grow to such a massive size, they would need to be spawning hundreds of new stars each year throughout the entire history of the universe itself. That's no exaggeration either. The Milky Way galaxy is thought to have around 400 billion stars, and these six galaxies must have a similar amount. So yes, they really would need to be forming that many stars so often. And even if they could do that, it still should be impossible because quite frankly, as far as our current scientific understanding of the universe is concerned, the amount of baryonic matter, normal matter, as opposed to dark matter, that existed in the universe at the time was nowhere near enough to fuel these galactic growths. There simply wasn't enough matter to form six huge galaxies so fast. It's bananas, study co-author Erica Nelson said in a statement. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. According to their measurements, these six objects could weigh billions more than the Sun. For one of the galaxies, the total weight of all its stars may be 100 billion times greater than the Sun. Nelson and her colleagues, including first author Ivo Labe, of the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia, published their results, Feb. 22, in the journal Nature. The latest finds aren't the earliest galaxies observed by James Webb, which launched in December 2021 and is the most powerful telescope ever sent into space. Last year, another team of scientists spotted four galaxies that likely coalesced from gas 
around 350 million years after the Big Bang. Those objects, however, were downright shrimpy compared to the new galaxies, containing many times less mass than stars. The researchers still need more data to confirm that these galaxies are as big as they look, and date as far back in time. Their preliminary observations, however, offer a tantalizing taste of how James Webb could rewrite astronomy textbooks. Another possibility is that these things are a different kind of weird objects, such as faint quasars, which would be just as interesting, Nelson said. In our current understanding of the universe, we believe that all the energy in the universe started from a super hot and super dense point called a singularity. This singularity is like the starting point for everything we see in the universe today. After this singularity, the universe began to expand and grow over about 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The expansion started with something called cosmic inflation, where the universe grew incredibly fast, even faster than the speed of light. It's like the very fabric of space itself was stretching and everything in it was stretching along with it. This cosmic inflation helped shape the universe by making things more uniform and setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures to form. As the universe continued to expand, it didn't expand as rapidly as during cosmic inflation, but it still kept getting bigger. We call this ongoing expansion, cosmic expansion. Scientists have seen evidence of this expansion through things like the way light from distant galaxies changes color, known as redshift. Now, the Big Bang Theory had anticipated seeing galaxies that were jumbled and disrupted due to multiple collisions. However, the JWST images tell a different story. Instead of chaotic and disordered galaxies, the pictures reveal smooth disks and well-organized spiral shapes that resemble the galaxies we observe in the present-day universe. This unexpected finding challenges the idea that mergers are a common part of galaxy evolution, as it's clear that these new galaxies haven't undergone the expected disruptions if we follow the Big Bang Theory. The age and abundance of galaxies revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope also challenge the validity of the Big Bang Theory. By studying the colors of distant galaxies in the infrared part of the spectrum, astronomers can estimate the ages of the stars within these galaxies. Some of these galaxies appear to have stellar populations that are over a billion years old, which contradicts the theory's assertion that nothing should have originated before the Big Bang. Despite these significant inconsistencies, it's noteworthy that the potential collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis hasn't received widespread attention in major media outlets. But if even one of them is real, it means we may be profoundly wrong about some basic details about the universe. And it also has implications for research going forward, too. Currently, computer simulation models of the universe often hinge on details like stellar mass, meaning the total mass of stars and galaxies. But if massive galaxies like this existed so long ago, we may need to reevaluate how we've been programming these models, which have a significant impact on how we understand space. But ultimately, this is also just one of the many amazing discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope has helped make, helping us learn more about the universe with every new revelation. Let us know in the comments what you think about these galaxies. As always, thanks for watching our video. See you in the next one.